Hello everyone and welcome to my Illumina Neo background removal AI video. So in this video I'm going to show you super fast how this works, how you can use it, where to find it and what it looks like. So let's just pick an image at random. Um, I'm going to pick this one here now, lower lens. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the edit profile, which is where you find it. So we're going to edit and up here at the top you have layer properties. So if I click on that and go on to masking here then, you have background removal AI. So if I click on that, you're going to see these really cool 3D sort of effects coming up along. This is the AI thinking and looking at your photograph, trying to diagnose how, wow, that that is the first time I've used that, <laughs> that photograph. And that's, that's really cool. That is, look at the masking up along there. That's, that's perfect. Maybe there isn't quite right, is it? Or am I dreaming? I need to look at, I need to zoom in on that. Yeah, there's a slight, but that's very understandable. You can see that it's not just picking up that transition absolutely perfectly there. But um, that is really good otherwise. Look at those edges. That is, if I go up here now, that is really cool. That has done an absolutely perfect job. So without doing anything else, now the one thing you'll notice is up here there's a section missing. We'll come back to that in a second. So if I just click on remove here now, it is going to remove the background from that image. And boom, there we have it. There we have a cutout of that photograph almost immediately. And even when I look down here, that looks practically perfect. That looks really, really good. Because, again, there will be a certain amount of reflection there too as well. So let's say if you decide to put that in a pink background, you'll see the pink will start to come through in that section of small bit. So it's going to actually make it more realistic the more I look at it. Genuinely, I wasn't expecting to work that way. You can see the section in the middle here. This is the piece that it didn't pick up quite right. But what you can do is if you want to correct that, just go to refinement brushes. You have your transitional area where you can actually paint in the transition between the background and the object itself. You can then select the object too as well if you want. So if I just click on this and just go like that, boom, and close this again, bang, there we have it. That's it, done, finished, I'm out of here. That is my image cut out. There is no need to use clipping path. There is no need for me to spend like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> with what you call it, with the pen tool in uh, in Photoshop or whatever else. That is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, uh, again, first time using it on these images, being brutally honest with you, I was not expecting that. So that, that has worked really well. So the next one I want to do here is the hand and the hairdryer. I'm just com picking completely random ones, so we'll see how well this works. So if I click on this, and again, if I go to Edit, if I go up here to Layer Properties, Masking, and Background Removal AI, or AI Background Removal, whichever one that you want to call it, it's working through, it's trying to detect exactly what's in the image, and we're going to see now that has done a near perfect job. See a small area there and there. Otherwise, around there looks really good, so I'm just going to click on remove here now for argument's sake, and that's going to remove our background, and how well does that look? That's fairly good. In all honesty, no, that is that is fairly good. Just this area here is just not quite right. And there's a small bit of detail here too as well that is missing. The hand isn't absolutely perfect either. So as you can see, this works quite well. If you have very sharp defined edges like the lens, like I showed you earlier on, it's going to work perfectly. Like even along here now, that looks really good. And up around here looks good too as well. It's just, yeah, this part isn't great. It's not perfect. But again, this is just the beta version. I'm showing you the beta version here. I'm showing you in its raw beauty, as they say. So um, don't don't shoot me for the sake of it. We'll try this. We just try this one. Uh, so I go to edit there now again, and I go to layer properties, masking, background removal AI, and give that two seconds. And that is going to do what? That is going to get that practically perfect. That is what that is going to do. Wow. That's really cool. Just click on remove. Is that that done already? Now there's a small bit in the pillow above on top that we need to take out, but there ain't too mightily much wrong with that. There is genuinely, so if I just go to refinement brush and click on background and just go bang. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're going to go to our layer properties. We're going to go to masking and background removal AI and see how much of a job it does on this. Um, the battery, it hasn't picked up at all, though. And it's missing the back corner here, too, as well of this. Again, we can refine all these. But so main object, in other words, it's detected these as our main object. It has actually completely ignored the battery. So I'm going to do is click on sky. 
and we're going to see what that selects then. So we click on Sky, it's after adding a small bit more detail on the edges here and around here and here and here. So no, we don't want Sky, so I'll just click Sky off along again, and you can see those details again, a small bit of masking there. We click on Architecture, and oh, with Architecture there now, it has got everything nearly bang on right. So if I click on Remove, and again, we can refine all this, but please do remember, you're actually, it's actually after cutting out three different images for you there now in the space of a couple of seconds. So I'll click on remove and boom, there we have it. Now the only thing we have a problem with here now is our battery. So I'll use a refinement brush, we have a big problem with that. So if I go to battery and just zoom down along here, let's say. And what I'm gonna do is, this is the object here still. And see what happens. If I just paint this in now, what's it going to do? Is it gonna pick up the battery? It is picking up the battery. And we scoot down along here again. And boom. There you go. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making this better or worse now, but we'll find out. Ah, there we have it. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. And is it what's going to do? What's going to do? In all fairness, that is after removing. No, bar this section down below here again, which again, I can just go back and I can go on background and just. Click on that there now. I'm not zoomed in or anything, so this isn't going to be absolutely perfect. If I run that down, oh, nearly hit it. If I run that down along there, that is going to remove that section there now. And look at that. That is getting, that's getting close. That is getting very close to being perfect. Wow. Yeah. That's looking really good there now. That is really looking very, very good there now. So if I close that off long, that's it. So that is my image done. So that's that's the three of those cut out, and that did that did a fairly fantastic job for just the space of a couple of seconds. Again, you want to superimpose that on a white, a blue, black, black, pink, export it as a PNG file and use it to send it to graphic design or whatever else you could do all that. So that's how easy it is to use. Again, I'm gonna go, go into more detail with this. Once I get the finalized copy, I will post a separate video on that and how to use it exactly and about these refinement brushes, how to use those. But just to give you a quick sneak peek, in the beta copy, which again, this is not the finished version. The finished version is gonna be better again. So um, see you out there and see you in the next video.